Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Cave Gen Survival. This is for Page. So here I am down in my basement and I have a tesseract right here and I have another one in my inventory. What are they for, you might wonder? Well, obviously this one says fluid tesseract and there's a tank next to it. I get, you could probably guess that it's gonna be for some type of fluid. But what type of fluid? Okay. So originally I had thought I was going to build an endothermic pump which is specifically designed for the nether to pump lava out of the nether so that it will like reduce like make very little lag blah 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 but I thought why I was gonna use magmatic dynamos because lava it, it generates some power and I have a lot there's a lot of it down there for me to potentially get but I like these compression dynamos they produce quite a bit of power with the liquefacted coal and they produce even more power with fuel. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go and get oil instead of lava. I'm going to get oil and turn it into fuel and use that for my compression dynamos, which I'm going to make more of eventually, someday, maybe. So with that, we need to make a pump. And I need pump this thing. Need a mining well, which is iron gear, iron pickaxe, iron and redstone. Yeah, let's get some redstone. First off. And I need some wood because wood. And iron, I have iron. Okay. Wooden gear, stone gear, iron gear, iron pickaxe, iron down the sides, iron gear in the middle, iron pickaxe, and shabam! I got myself a mining well. Now I need to make a tank, like that, stick it on top of the mining well, and I have a pump. So, you may be wondering, may be wondering where I'm going to get this oil that I speak of. And if you're brilliant, or maybe even not so brilliant, you'll realize that there has been oil down here in H2. Right over in this direction. Ah! hate that. Sometimes the jump doesn't jump all the way. Also, I've noticed that because of I made my power armor, chest plate, and helmet, uh, I gave them the diamond upgrade thingy. And because of that, they uh, I don't run as fast or jump as high. And my uh, this thing, hang glider, doesn't go as fast either. So that's something I might need to change my power settings on. Or what kind of things I have. Alright, here we go. That goes down like that, and the thing should come out. I don't see it. Maybe it's gotta have power first. I can't quite get up. Dang it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this tesseract right on top like this and it's going to be hooked up to energy which is frequency one and it's going to send fluid uh, the other one is set to receive only so I'm going to also send it to receive only power and there it is I can see a little pipe right there all right is it working No, apparently it's not. So what I need to do is get myself some energy things. Okay, so you have absolutely no power and you're just gonna go bop, bop, and there we go. It pumps. Ow, frick. However, it only pumped once. You do have power. 
but it doesn't look like you actually sent it through. Will that work? That seems to have worked. So let's go see it work. I don't know if I actually need chunk loaders for this or not. I might. Uh, but the pump itself or the Tesseract might actually be a chunk loader. I don't know. It's sending it somewhere. Maybe it's just been an internal reserve of that. Okay, here we have so far four or two buckets of oil. Yeah, because there's one bucket in this one and one bucket over in that one. Alright. So it looks like I do need chunk loaders. Because it's not working. So let's make some chunk loaders. Uh, chunk. This thing. Uh, enchantment table. I need all of them. I need to get more end of pearls. Ugh, I hate this. Like that. And then this gives me spot loaders, which means that they will load one single chunk. And it gives me a bunch of them, so I can load up to 10 chunks in different areas. So, I want to load that chunk in the this world. Let's see, check this out. Bam! Uh, what's the chunk boundaries? Is it F9? Yeah. Oh dear. This is like right on the corner of chunk, so I need to put two. Okay, let's go downstairs. And do this again. Always right on the freaking edge. Two. <laughs> Why? So inconvenient. So here we have six or twelve buckets, technically. There's six in this tank and six in the other one. And there we go, there's another bucket. So it's working. It's working out. That's good. What I need to do now is make a refinery. Refinery. This thing. Diamond gear, three tanks, and two redstone torches. Can do. And a diamond gear. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Glass. Uh, tanks. Like, that. Right. And that gives me a refinery. I'm going to have to make more than just one, though. Because these things do take a while. So I'll have one right there. I wonder if I can pump them into the top and then pump out the back. Power them on the bottom? Maybe it would be best if I put these down below. Down here. And then I could put the dynamos up on top. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Also, you might notice that I don't have... What? What happened to my... What happened to my chest plate and helmet? Ah. Uh, thing about this stupid Power Seats mod is it's kind of... It's a little bit buggy with all these other mods. I don't know if it's normally like that. But it certainly is now. I'll just stick that on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, the, the armor tends to disappear. Alright, so. Uh, there's the tank right there. Put the refinery right here. And then make some more fluidocs. More fluidocs! Um, three might be good. I need to section this off because I don't like it. I'm gonna have to change that to regular stone in the new feature. Okay. 
there's that. And then fluid ducts on top. Go over to here. And up here. Or actually, they're going to go over to about here. Um, go down the hole. Thank you. Give me my wrench. Throw away the dirt. And a lever. Okay, so that's good. And let's see. I believe it's here. Yeah. I need energy conduits. So this one's going to give off energy as well. Uh Gonna go in front. That's the tank. I want this one. Receive energy. So you are receiving energy. And. That and lever. Yeah, boy. There we go. It's refining into fuel. Let's see, it's gone. It's a little bit of time, but it's going. Now I gotta get myself some tanks to put the fuel in. Yeah. Um, got some glass, so I can make four sets. That makes eight, in case you didn't notice. Um, put it right. And here. Like that, and that should hold all my fuel. Shaboosh. I fell down a little hole. Yes! As you can see, it's slowly but surely filling up with fuel. It works. So is this filling up or emptying? Looks like it's filling up. Oh, uh, looks like I hit the, res the, the reserve thing. Cool. There's only a way to detect when this tank got full. Um, there might be a way. I need... Is there... That's not what it's called. Dang it, I don't remember. Gray stones. Can you make those? No. Alright, um... BC. This thing. Cobblestone structure pipe. Okay. We need a cobblestone transport pipe and a gravel. Cobblestone glass. Okay. So I think I can do something with this. With gates. 
Uh, this is just going to have to be a real quick just look into this. Uh, I need to get rid of some of the stuff because I'm a little bit full. Just one of these. And smack it up there. And a gate. How do you make a gate? Just a redstone chipset and an assembly table. Well, what do you know? I happen to have an assembly table right here and some redstone in my inventory. Oh, yeah. What are you making? Oh. Silver. I, I have other. I didn't know I had this. Oops. But no, I want to make this. So I'm going to just uh, let it do this and run and I'll be back when it's done. And I, I've made it after I've made a uh, gate. This thing. What the heck is this? Oh, right. Butterfly. Derp. Every time I see that, I'm just like, what is that squiggly little worm? It looks like a leech. And then I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a butterfly. Right. Gate. I need to make gates. So I'll be back when it's done. All right, I'm back, and I have the uh, the gate, the the gate, this thing. All right, so I'm going to try something just to see if it'll work. It probably will not, but you never know. So fluid and tank, or tank empty, tank full. It will work. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna set up. Uh, some things. I'm gonna have some gates here, and I'm probably gonna use gates on these things too. Uh, I wonder what happened to the gate. It just kind of disappeared. All right. Because I'm in a hurry, I'm going to just cheat it in. Can you put it on these? No. So I'm gonna do is at the top of this. I'm going to put when the gate, the tank is full, so I will detect that this tank right here is full. It's going to send a signal down to this to give it a redstone signal and disable it. Though I really would. Yes, also it's going to send a redstone signal through a wireless, trans, uh, wireless redstone transmitter to the one that is at the pump and it's going to turn that one off too. Okay. Turn those off, I think. And I will implement all this in the next episode because I'm all out of time right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, I, I am glad that you watch it and I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, everybody, take it easy. Ta-ta.